Welcome back YouTube. I uh, just wanted to do a quick update here on the price action that we're seeing because what we're seeing here is a, a battle literally for these uh, next zones. Um, if you've been following the channel, you know we've been talking about these zones and uh, the importance of closing in them and kind of giving us the um, access to like that next zone and uh, creating the, the floors and having the strength in there. And what we're looking at here is this 43 range overall for Bitcoin and for Doge, we're looking at like nine and a half. Um, I think Ethereum has been playing around like 2200. Uh, we've seen like these gains. And if you look at the notifications, I know you'll get notifications from like Coinbase and stuff. And it'll say, oh, such and such increase X percent, X amount of uh, percent over the last hour or over the last day. And really, it's just a big yo-yo. Like it's down, up, down, up, but ultimately it's staying in the same uh, range. So this is where you're getting like a lot of push down and you can see things like shorts and all that kind of stuff coming in. But ultimately, what we're witnessing here is a, a battle between the um, liquidity coming into the market and the push downs and the shorts and the, the dumps and stuff from swing traders. All of that is creating a battle here because there has not been enough liquidity to push through into these uh, these zones but ultimately this does what we're talking about which is build out strength in these levels here uh, in the event we have a ascend to a higher high and then we need to grab that liquidity you won't be seeing like those uh sharp falls like you know uh the kind of like what it does it sells off when it goes into a bear market like 89 percent. you have levels like this where more than likely um investors will come back in and kind of pump the brakes on that descent. But ultimately, kind of you'll see something stuff like uh, Ethereum here. Um, we've had closure, a bunch of rejections down here off of the 21. But ultimately, it rises uh, 200 bucks to you know, two to 300 bucks and then um, descends again. Uh, Bitcoin, same thing here. Um, ultimately rejections here for the 40,000 rises about three grand, uh, ultimately, um, trying to get to that infamous 45 mark. That's going to be a huge battle zone doge, same thing. Um, an interesting thing about doge is we, if we talk about this zone here, kind of have a uh, Fibonacci up here. If we talk about this area here, breaking above and getting to that 10 cent mark, uh, establishing 10 cent, letting it be a floor. You can look here at around the nine four nine mark and this is a total of 10 candles in this range right five of them closed within range and five have closed out of range so we're talking about a 50 percent rejection out of this range here so uh, ultimately kind of doing, doing what we talked about which is uh building out uh, strength in the zone uh ultimately uh, the more closer you get into the zone obviously the better but we're kind of literally just uh, on the line here. This is kind of like the, um, uh, what do you want to call it? Like a Dixie line or something like that. It's literally just pushing it back and forth, back and forth. And it's not necessarily in the zone, but it's not uh, in this one here. You have some closures up there. It's literally 50-50 right now. So um, you can't even see who's, uh, which zone here is winning as far as for the consolidation because it's back and forth. But it's literally a battle here so to the point where the 14 day is now curving out of this zone the 14 day was just making it into this zone here and now it's curving back into um the zone uh, beneath beneath it and you have to kind of keep in mind this is still uh, you should probably see some flattening here soon because it's still uh encompasses this is only a 10 days uh, that we're seeing uh, in and out of the zone so it has an additional four days which will obviously be below it so this is why you're seeing this sharp dip in the 14 but over the course of the next four days, this will probably flatten out um, if we're especially if we're still in this range here. Um, the 72, 200 have not been um, affected that much. The good news here, especially for Doge, um, the 200 is about to be above the highest level here of uh, these of our bottom uh, retracement zones. Right. So we're right on the cusp of the 200 rising out of this zone, which is very, very good. That is certainly establishing a higher high here because when you have the 200 it takes a while to kind of get it in there but when you have this upward descent especially this steep um, you'll see that it takes when you are above it um, i think we if we go back let's see because it was only last time i don't even know if it dipped in there no it never even made it in there that's just off of the last cycle 
that it made it in there. Um, so this is certainly very good. So even all those numbers, those previous highs and stuff were certainly when we were above um, this bottom liquidity zone. So this breaking out of this is certainly a good sign as far as for where the tone of the market and the shift of the market is going. So even the 200 is getting ready to come out of this bottom zone here. So um, I'm never say never, you know, you, there can have be some crazy things going on in the macros, but that six cent, five cent, those flash crashes down to four cent are becoming increasingly more unlikely to uh, happen, uh, especially with this um, steep ascend here. So obviously we'll keep an eye on it, but overall, matter of fact, let's go look at the shorts. Uh, overall, uh, the, the tide of the market is suddenly turning. Um, I didn't go anywhere. There we go. So shorts are still in, um, not a big retracement. Uh, ultimately had uh, an increase yesterday about 10% and came down today so far about 9.44. Um, hasn't really um, taken out much of the uh, shorts from their initial run up off of the 13th. We had about a 2,622% increase. The following day, another 32% uh, kind of sideways a few days. And then we took out about 40% of that. So still holding those short positions. The majority of those short positions from the 13th are still open. So just kind of keep that in mind there. Those short positions are still open and they're obviously hoping to uh, collect. So don't be surprised here. If you see a big run up, those short positions increase because obviously they do not uh, doge uh, consolidating and, and around 10 cents is certainly not uh, in favor of them getting it down so that they can collect the profit. Right now, um, the flattening of the 14 for uh, BTC uh, historically over this last of this trend here, um, at least throughout November, it was using the 14 day as um, literally like a trampoline. It's one form of support. We certainly closed below it recently, but it looks like we could be forming a double top here. Um, we will see. Um, we had two, we had like about five closures here. We're three in. So that's something to kind of keep an eye on over the next 48 hours. We could see a rejection here and possibly have a dip back down to around 40K, about three grand uh, to, to grab some additional liquidity for um, a retest. So for those of you looking to get into BTC, you may have a great opportunity to get some about three grand cheaper uh, within the next 48 hours. So uh, we'll see as far as we're where and that's probably what's likely to happen. I don't see um, a reason as to why it would break through this right now, um, but Ultimately, unless we get some news, I mean, ETF news or something like that, then obviously you can um, throw this double top out the window. But um, right now, it's looking like that's going to be likely, especially with the minimal movements over the last couple of days. So but we still have two days here to kind of balance this out and see um, where the uh, the turn of the market is going to be and if there's going to be some liquidity coming in there. But ultimately, this is looking like it's forming a double top. So we may have to go down and grab some liquidity for BTC which again, a number of assets have done that several times on this run, not the end of the world. Um, Ethereum, um, I, I wouldn't call this a double top, but you can certainly, it may be, this doesn't have to be perfectly even uh, because uh, Bitcoin, the Ethereum kind of has switched back to uh, trending more so with uh, Bitcoin. So we could see some similar price action here and get a double top and then come down here. It's less significant for Ethereum, but you know, about 300 bucks instead of 3000, but uh, to grab some liquidity, but it's done a great job of rejecting off of this level around the 2100. So again, if you look at the charts, whether it's Bitcoin, Ethereum, Doge, uh, they've all had to kind of like regroup before they were able to uh, test some of those previous levels and break above it. So again, not the end of the world. Uh, so ultimately, I uh, just kind of keep that in mind. We are in a, a battle zone here. So this is what we're talking about. This and the benefit of this is certainly strengthening those floors and building out those um, those supply demand zones. Um, and ultimately, we are going to have to kind of sit through this because technically speaking, if we look at the previous trends, I think I did it a week or so ago. Um, these here, these moments where you have gains in certain days, like some certainly some larger candlesticks. And it seems like, oh, OK, this is going to be a breakout. Typically, these can last about a week and a half. Um, I, I think uh, it was like nine days on average, but I think for Doge, this is Ethereum. But typically, you can kind of expect those consolidation points to be like a week and a half. 
um, and we'll kind of get a, a deciding factor as far as is, is there going to be enough liquidity or do you have to kind of have a breakdown and go um, get some liquidity here. So kind of like here, we had some a great balancing here using the 14 day and that wasn't enough. And then we started closing slightly lower um, for Ethereum. What is this? About 150 bucks lower, grab some liquidity, came up and was able to break through. So ultimately that's what we're looking at. Where's the liquidity going to come from? To break through these levels here is Bitcoin going to have to go back down to about 40 to come up and retest this and rechallenge this level. Um, and so that means that this double top will kind of fill out. Um, will Doge, come on. So will Doge come down to around 862, uh, about a penny lower, grab some liquidity to rechallenge some of these levels up here and break into uh, this zone? That's ultimately what we're kind of uh, deciding here. So we still have about three or four days um, for if we're counting like the averages from on this current trend for that to happen. So obviously we'll keep uh, an eye on this and see how this plays out as far as where the liquidity is going to come from. And we will go from there. So that is my price update as far as what's going on. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. I appreciate all of you and I'll see you guys in the next video.